We all know the challenges large language models face when it comes to context retention. Most of the time, they struggle to remember important details over extended interactions. But now, there's a new and extremely fast way for anyone to build AI agents with reliable long-term memory. Not just standard RAG. It's an AI memory framework that enables large language models to remember, understand, and connect information across multiple documents. Instead of treating each prompt as an isolated request, it builds a memory layer powered by a knowledge graph that captures relationships, entities, and context. And this is where I would like to introduce Cogni, the next generation framework that redefines how AI memory truly works. In essence, Cogni brings persistent memory to AI agents that allows applications to maintain context across sessions while seamlessly interacting with existing features which is going to make it intelligent, context-aware systems that are easier to build than ever before. What's also great is that Cogni introduces advanced features that make AI memory truly intelligent, starting with Memify, which automatically structures your data into meaningful concepts. There's Temporal Awareness. This is where it helps your AI understand how information evolves over time, giving it context beyond a single session. And with the new feedback mechanism, your agent learns continuously from your inputs, refining its understanding just like a human. And the best part is, is that Cogni is an open source tool that you can easily get started with, with less than six lines of code. This is something that you can easily get started by having it self-hosted, or you can access it through the cloud. Now, another way is simply accessing it through Google Colab, and that way you can test it out to see how it performs with a couple of different sorts of examples that they have. Just take a look at this example as to how Cogni brings semantic memory to AI agents. We start by installing Cogni and setting up a helper class to manage the files, preview data, and handle the visualizations. Then we create a small developer data set, which combines a short intro, coding conversations, as well as the Zen of Python principles. It also includes an ontology file. Next, we reset the memory with the prune command, and then you can add your data using the add command. And then with this, Cogni then builds a knowledge graph with Cognify. It is going to link the related ideas through embeddings. We can also visualize the graph to see how our data connects, how it searches using natural language, and even provide feedback so Cogni learns and strengthens its memory over time. In short, the notebook is going to showcase how Cogni turns plain text into dynamic, variable knowledge graphs, giving your AI agent real context and recall. This is something that you can get started with today. And what's nice is that this framework has a UI, which is featuring local and cloud notebooks and a built-in graph explorer. So you can easily add data, build memory graphs and query your AI memory. So it's easier to work with the core ideas for your AI agent with this user-friendly UI. But like I'd mentioned, if you want to use the cloud version, you can easily click on Cogni Cloud and then you can sign up with the account and you can get started with it on the web. But say if you want to use the self-hosted method, which is something that I'll be showcasing, we will need to now work on making sure we have all the prerequisites fulfilled. Make sure you have Python 3.10 to 3.12 installed and you can install it using UV so it's contained in an environment. Then simply go ahead and open up your command prompt. And what you can now do is copy this command with UV. And then you can use the pip install command to install all the packages for Cogni to be functional on your computer. After installing, you can then set up the basic usage where you set your OpenAI API key. Or you can use other supported providers from Azure OpenAI, the Google Gemini, or even local models through Olama. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. But now we can start working with Cogni via CLI or through the UI, which is something that we'll showcase in a second. For example, we can get started with the basic commands like Cogni CLI and then the next function, which is to add something to the memory layer. So for example, you're giving Cogni some text or some documents to remember, you can use the add function for that and then you can paste this within your terminal and you can click on enter. 
This will only work if you have Cogni installed as well as have it linked to an API. So right now it is adding it to the database storage and you can see that it has now ingested that context. Now what you can also do is use the Cognify command. This is where Cogni will process the data that you have added and it will build a structured knowledge graph. This is where the relationships between concepts are inferred and stored. So now we can go back into the terminal and paste this Cognify command within and it'll work on processing the data for us. Now what we can do is use the search function and this is where we can actually query the knowledge graph and return relevant information. It's super simple guys. This is how easy Cogni is. You can now have a fully functional memory layer that is able to refer with in-depth context. And afterwards, you can then delete all the context by refreshing it with the delete all command. But now let's actually get started with the UI because I believe it'll be a lot easier for you to work with Cogni's memory layer through this UI. And you will be able to now open it up within your local host. And it's super easy to get started. This is the Cogni local dashboard. And essentially, on the left hand side is where you can add data to Cogni. You can see there is an example reference of a Python development file with Cogni tutorial that has been uploaded. And it is something that has listed down all the different code cells, the markdown cells, and it gives you a good reference of this document. There's also other Cogni instances, like the local Cogni instance that you have it connected with. You can add different data sets as well to Cogni. You have the main data set. You can also have it linked to the cloud and this is where you can provide your API key from their platform so that you can connect it to the cloud. To get started, we're going to add new data to the data set. This is where we're adding large amounts of context about the channel. And this is entailing a lot of information of what the channel is about, strategies of videos, thumbnails, and etc. So we can go ahead and add the selected files. And it'll take a couple of minutes to process and ingest it within the memory system. So it looks like my data has been uploaded. Now what we can do is upload a new notebook. So we can create one from scratch, we can give it a name. And within the main notebook, we can go ahead and query our data by simply running this first cell of code. This is where it is gonna be able to use the knowledge graph but based off the memory layer that we have configured. And it is gonna be able to query it by running it. So within a couple of seconds that you can see that it is able to run our knowledge base, which is the YouTube channel data set. And you can see that it is providing us the context, which talks about what our YouTube channel is about. And it also creates the knowledge graph for us. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. This is just one simple way for you to access the memory layer using the UI. It is something that goes further and beyond, as you can have it so that you can unify your data, files, code, docs, and conversations into searchable, intelligent memory. And not just that, you can incorporate it within chatbots, you can use it within coding assistance, documentation intelligence, human resources, and so many other types of methods. It is going to let you query in natural language. You can uncover patterns. You can align your work with the best practices or expert contributions. You can even ingest data, build a knowledge graph. You can even infer rules and you can have a continuous improved result through feedback. And for practical use cases, like we had mentioned, you have so many other methods where you can even ingest it within an AI agent. So it has inbuilt memory and it's able to query knowledge bases, research, and it can even make your project so much smarter, more consistent and more context aware. Now I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. This is a remarkable open source tool. There's a lot of resources that they have that will showcase how you can easily get started. But this is the capability of Cogni. It is something that will easily and greatly elevate your project. But that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter. Join our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from.
Hope that thought guys have an amazing day. Drop positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.